Volkswagen unveiled the third generation of the well-liked Tiguan in Europe, and it gives us a sneak peek at some of what to anticipate for the vehicle that will be sold in the U.S. This Tiguan for the Euro market has a shorter wheelbase. However, the Tiguan for our market will launch the following year and is based on the Tiguan Allspace in other markets. In order to avoid confusion, the next generation Tehran, an SUV sold in China, will be closely connected to the Tiguan that will be exported to the U.S. If all of that seems confusing, the new iteration of the tiny crossover should have more sophisticated aesthetics, more user-friendly ergonomics, and available suspension technology adapted from the Golf GTI. Will it be enough to defeat competitors like the Honda CRV and Mazda CX-50? Due to its connection to both the future Tehran and the Tegan shown here in Eurospec, we are able to provide you an accurate description of the exterior of the new Volkswagen Tegan crossover. The new flattened LED headlights on the Tiguan in Europe flow into a horizontal strip of LED lighting. The radiator grille apertures are now situated on the outside sides of the front bumper, where air curtains have been added to best guide the airflow. The drag coefficient has decreased as a result of these adjustments from 0.33 to 0.28. There will be HD matrix headlights with 19,200 multi-pixel LEDs per headlamp unit, which will significantly enhance illumination. The uncomplicated side view shows new wheel styles with diameters up to 20 inches. The North American version will look different from this perspective since its body will be longer. The Tiguan logo can be seen running across the bottom of the tailgate, and there is a new horizontal LED strip at the back. Pure white and platinum gray have been among the Volkswagen Tegan's more traditional color options throughout the years. But this Euro model sports a more vivid orange that we hope will be imported to the USA. The inside of the latest Volkswagen Tegan is functional, but a little boring. The new one is thankfully far more technologically advanced inside, but there was always concern that, like some other new VWs, usability might suffer. The redesigned digital cockpit in front of the driver and a 15-inch infotainment screen are features of the Tiguan in Europe. A new menu structure and OLED display technology have been introduced. A new gear selector is conveniently located next to the steering wheel. Importantly, VW has come up with various ways to make the cabin simpler to utilize. A new rotary dial with its own tiny screen has been added to regulate items like the radio level, interior lighting colors, and driving profile while climate control settings are still included in the touchscreen. As an alternative, voice commands can manage a lot of operations. The seats of the Volkswagen Tegan have also undergone revisions. There are new Ergo Active Plus seats with pneumatic 10-chamber pressure massage and four-way lumbar support. Additionally, seat heating and ventilation can be programmed to turn on automatically based on the temperature outside. It's uncertain whether all of these features will transfer to the Tiguan built to U.S. standards, but it's probably true. We enjoy how this new model has more personality thanks to the use of sporty red ambient lighting and a few bright flourishes on the dashboard and door panels. The Tiguan will also have access to numerous driver assistance features, like as lane change assist, dynamic road sign display, and optional features like remote parking. The larger Tiguan available here currently has 33 cubic feet of room behind the second row, making it an extremely useful vehicle. The Volkswagen Tegan will be available in Europe with a wide variety of powertrains, including turbo diesels, turbocharged gas engines, mild hybrids, and a plug-in hybrid known as an e-hybrid. We expect that the dual-clutch automatic transmission that will be available with the e-hybrid will be imported to the United States. The second engine choice for America will probably be an improved version of the four-cylinder turbocharged engine that currently produces 184 horsepower and 221 LABEFT of torque. Even in a market sector where performance isn't a top concern, the present Tegan takes about nine seconds to accelerate from zero to 60 mob. According to earlier rumors, the new Tiguan PHEV would have 268 horsepower, so these variations ought to go much more quickly. All Tiguans destined for the U.S. are anticipated to be automatics, and optional all-wheel drive variants will be offered in addition to the front-wheel drive that comes standard. The MQB EVO platform serves as the foundation for the European Tegan, which will be offered with the new Adaptive Chassis Control DCC and optional DCC Pro with two-valve shock absorbers. 
A vehicle dynamics manager was also added, making its debut on the Golf GTI. This system controls the electronic differential locks, resulting in more steady and accurate handling. These are some of the systems we might see on the Tiguan in America. Europe's Tiguan has developed imperceptibly, so we can expect the components of the US spec Volkswagen Tiguan to likewise increment. Notwithstanding, as our adaptation hasn't been uncovered, we can seek the current model for a thought of its size. The Tegan offered here has an 186.1-inch body length and a 109.9-inch wheelbase. Without the mirrors, it is 72.4 inches wide and 60.5 inches tall. The present Tegan has a maximum curb weight of 3,821 pounds, but the new PHAV will probably weigh closer to 4,300 pounds. A potential PHEV model in America would offer an outstanding range, even when accounting for more conservative EPA ratings as the smaller Tigion in Europe will have a range of around 62 miles on electric power alone. Although VW hasn't disclosed charge speeds or battery specifications, DC fast charging will be an option. For e-hybrid vehicles, faster AC charging will also be implemented. For non-hybrid vehicles, the 27 MLPG combined of the current Tegan FWD model might be improved. The current Tegon has a starting price of $28,505 in the USA, so when the new one arrives, it will probably cost close to $30,000. A fully loaded variant that might have a plug-in hybrid powertrain could cost around $45,000. The Honda CRV, which costs $20,9500, will be one of the Tiguan's main competitors in this market. A fully equipped hybrid version of the CRV may be had for up to $39,500.